Hi Shanmuga. Hi sir. So you here you are here at practically office. We wanted you to be here at practically office. So we wanted to know about your journey about the coding, how you learn the coding, how you are in, get in touch with us. So just tell me from which grade you are and from which place you are. Yeah, I'm from Gudwada, Krishna district and I'm learning in Dr. Pekas Gautam School. Um, I'm getting into ninth class. Um, practically helps me a lot for uh, coding and education purpose. So how you get in touch with the practically, how your journey started with yeah, coding? Yeah, my journey started at Coastalite. Yeah, my school was the first tie up with uh, practically and they had uh, suggested as a course light uh, application so that we um, I, I had started learning in course light okay. so that uh, the course light evolved into practically right yeah so uh, the marketers came as and asked few my, few questions and suggested this app so okay. my father has paid for it okay so uh, like may I know what are the courses that you attended here what are the courses that you enrolled for here at practical yeah I had enrolled uh, scratch programming MIT app inventor and Python uh, advanced bridge course and uh, um, HTML uh, CSS JavaScript so uh, almost all courses you attended yeah. so may I know like how you find these practically coding classes here like how these courses helps you in learning the coding yeah these courses helped me to make uh, a different app called qr code scanner oh you made app app also yeah good and that was also published in play store so google play store you published one app also yeah so may i know the name of the app and what this app will do yeah uh, the name of the app is qr code scanner and this app uh, shows the qr code results in the app itself and it has another future uh, to browse with text in the app itself so that's all uh, any other app apart from this qr code app that you developed it was amazing yeah so i any other created app? two more apps called uh, one is jarvis and one is vidmeeting okay uh, the vidmeeting is uh, an app which connects many users at a time on a cloud meeting base okay so it's uh, a zoom but not a zoom but it's like it's a new one new one okay you develop the new app yeah. so which we can use for communication yeah right so it's a video conferencing app. yeah video conferencing okay so what are the different features this app contains uh, can you just tell me about like it? Uh, it has external features than zoom that's all okay. in the meeting we had many features in in, in this app with mm -hmm. meeting and it helps the users to connect closely like uh, the interaction with uh, in this app will be uh, more detailed okay and so what are the coding language that you use to develop this app in the background coding language um, uh, the qr code was made by uh, mit app inventor okay excellent and, and the uh, vid meeting was made by java so you name it vid meeting vid by meeting, yourself yeah so video meeting short video. form is vid video meeting, meeting. Yeah. yeah that's great so it is develop using java java yeah so you already uploaded on the google Play Store, yeah right and another app was jarvis and i it was inspired from marvel movies okay so i had made it and it's a beautiful ai which works uh, as in our system windows system it it can shut down the system and restart and it can sleep the system and it can open many softwares from uh, windows software and it also calculates some uh, numerical operate operations and it can show it can tell our location weather and etc so how this app works and what are the coding language that you used for jarvis yeah, yeah. i use python uh, to make uh, jarvis ai okay and it's it's a beautiful great app. you know python also yeah. you know app inventor means block based coding you know java as well as you know python also python, yeah so where did you learn all this coding yeah language? from the practical lab. practical lab. so yeah. like we were discussing the features of this jarvis app that you made yeah so how does this app work uh, so it, it's a text based that we need to type chart and it's a voice based it, command. it was a voice based command okay we need to just tell jarvis do that that's all that's all we need to do it it runs on its own yeah. and we can make it to sleep like Jarvis wait for some time 
like when we give, give this command it's wait for some time and we need to tell a command like javis wake up then it wake up again okay so this is amazing this is like the iron man yeah made the application right. so in the same way you made this application yeah. so that will do your work yeah you just have to say something and jarvis yeah. will perform those yeah those so commands activities so uh -huh. in that activities like it will shut down the system yeah it will restart the system restart and the system. make the system to sleep sleep and, and um, it will check the temperature yeah it checks the current temperature where we are okay, and this it can good. also change the tab like it can also shift the page okay shift the pages also yeah, it can it, open any application from any computer applica system yeah like if i want to open my notepad so it will open opens okay. it open notepad chrome browser and some other uh, coding softwares like android studio pycharm etc so is it a mobile application or the desktop application uh, it's a windows desktop application it mm -hmm. works only on windows okay so that so once we install it on our windows operating system it will have all the control over our laptop yeah right that is great <laughs> you may so like uh, if i want to check the location of my where i'm sitting right now yeah. so that this app will tell the location tell the also. location yeah javis we need to tell the javis where am i then okay. it tells your location currently. so is it available publicly so that i can no. download it it is not yet available. not available so when you're planning to make it public we'll see that like i don't have any idea about that because we need to do some other updates in that because i i'm really excited now to use this app yeah Okay. So when you like, so you are like you are updating, you are adding yeah. some more features. Some more features like uh, uh, locating the apps. Like if a other user want to add one more app to open from his Windows software, okay, it text it it need a text box right to yes. paste the location. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm going. I'm gonna add that feature in that, so right. it will open that. Good, good. So for this also you use Python. So you make three different. Yeah. You made three different apps yes. with three different technologies. That is great at this age. Yeah, it, it, it is really amazing. So like what you're going to do in future because you at this only you made three apps with three different languages. Now what you're planning to do in the upcoming days? Yeah, I was trying to make an another app called uh, like I don't name it, but okay. I was trying to make a uh, chatting app. Uh, which is with a uh, different interface okay we can uh, after texting also we can add emojis for the previous text okay so it's like a communication app communication like whatsapp app. we have yeah whatsapp so like you're what? planning to make this app that app yeah okay that is good so right now this app is in planning stage right yeah, planning stage okay so how practically helps in all this process to make the three different apps at this very early age you made three different apps yep. so how practically coding courses helps you in developing this app? yeah practically coding courses has helped me like uh, it, from different uh, sessions uh, i have learned different courses and that that means the courses in practically app helped me a lot uh, by uh, creating a course like java python and etc that okay. helped me a lot so like uh, in practically there is a one more uh, like feature we offer at practically the yeah, seek, seek help, help session yeah. seek help feature so you use that seek help session yeah i use a lot <laughs> use a lot yeah so how does how does this seek help yeah seek help help, you? help me like uh, for for solving my school doubts in max physics chemistry and it also helped me in coding also Okay. I used to book seek help sessions for coding doubts and my other uh, NEET syllabus, NEET and JE syllabus. Okay. I used to book the seek help. So, like, uh, once you book the seek help session, you can interact. Yeah. Tell me more about seek help session. How this thing? Yeah, happens. within uh, we can also chat. Like, we can also get text doubts and video doubts. Okay. Text doubts, uh, we can get the solution in twenty four hours. Okay. And video sessions is we need to book the session uh, in. Uh, in our leisure periods, like the periods which will will be available for the teachers, okay. we need to book in our leisure period. So once you book the seek help session, okay. you will get one to one video call uh, video with call. the doubt solver teacher. Okay. Yes. The mentor will solve your all of the doubts, whether it is from different subjects, science, maths, or whether it is from coding. Yes. Right. 
so in this way it will work, it will work. okay great so what do you want to become now so at this early age you develop three apps that is good amazing okay so in future what you are planning to become so yeah. did you plan some career for yourself yeah like, i want to become a software engineer in my future okay and, great and it's my dream to become uh, to uh, to get in a good position in software uh, so uh, field okay so that's my target so let me tell you one thing yeah you are already a software engineer right now at this age because you developed three apps so you are a software engineer at this age only so like so much knowledge you have so people yes. get so much knowledge this kind of so much knowledge after completing the graduation but you already got it you developed three different apps so like uh, your second app that you wit meeting yeah, okay meeting. that you said about wit meeting so is it available on the play store no sir not yet available yeah i had uploaded it but it will reach the people in 2 to 3 days time okay you are you already uploaded on yeah. the google play store so fine so that first app that you uploaded on the google play store that is the qr code scanner app yeah so how was your journey like for making because first app is first application that you're making it's a very like amazing experience so it's always like memorable thing yeah so tell me about like when you make the first app how you feel yeah, okay I, who help you and how you uploaded it on the google play store yeah i don't plan for this app and like fluently i had created the app okay like i thought i was uh, seeing the modules on the components in the uh, mrt app inventor so that i thought that uh, why should we not make uh, this qr code scanner so in that uh, app uh, my uh, my coding teacher jilani sir has helped me a lot okay and i had published uh, with his help and that's on google play store yeah right so now i can download it i can install it and i can use it yeah right good so after 3 days your another app will come on the google play store yes sir with the same account mm, same account. on the same account good that's great so like about practically and un unpractically app so apart from this live classes seek help there are different features are also available like yeah. scan anything scan anything 3d simulations okay yeah. ar vr videos so, simulations yeah that, did you use any one of those yeah i used to use 3d simulation and ar vi videos that that ha that will attract the children to educate themselves okay yeah that is very useful future for uh, in practical app and that makes the children to attract or or the concepts and understand Good. clearly so now you got to know now you use already use the practical app yeah. okay you develop the dif three different apps applications okay so practically helps you in live classes also in the coding yes sir so will you recommend practically app to any of your friend relatives yeah i will recommend uh, definitely i'll recommend everyone because it's an amazing app like uh, it it gives many futures and may, uh, it it helps the people to educate themselves and it attracts the people so i'll definitely yeah, no uh, uh, give them yes sharmuka we yes. wanted to test your app okay so there is a qr code app so yeah. i have got laptop here yeah. so let's test so just guide me how to install your app okay. from the google play store uh, okay should you open your play store yeah so this is google play store yeah uh, we should we should type uh, shanmuka because that will be easy to find my app okay because there may be a lot of lot of qr code app yeah. yeah so i type your name search it so where where is your app yeah uh, still yeah this was my app yeah qr code scanner right yeah. so let me install it okay yeah i got it so is it installing now okay it's very small size 9 yeah, mb 9 mb file yeah good yeah i install it so now yeah. i'm going to open it so this is your app yes right so let's test it out okay, okay. so i got a practically website here on the laptop so let me create a qr code okay 
so now yeah. <laughs> let's you are up you run it okay you okay, test it uh, we need to click on scan okay and we should allow this app and we just need to scan it okay okay lighting okay okay, okay. yeah this will open the practically face okay this is amazing right yeah we can also rescan it again the same page so now you can browse that website here yeah in a quick yes just one second less than one second you can say the same content that to in mobile mode mobile mode yeah yeah and good like we can also browse with text with text option hmm. and let me type practically it's a browser also yeah good yeah. so this app provide two application yes. you didn't say earlier about it yeah so it's a qr code scanner also it's a browser browser also. yes and we can also browse with text yeah same website i got here at practic practically website good it's yes. amazing so like what are the different features you want to add like for the update for the next update for the next update we can always extend the functionality of yes. our app right Yes. So, are you thinking to add any extra functionalities to this? Currently, app? no idea. No because, thinking. Yeah, it's yeah. already have two, two, features. two features. One is QR code scanner, another is browsing. Text browsing. Yes. Yeah. So, are you thinking to add any extra functionality? No, no. To Let I'll think later on, because uh, just few days back I had updated this app with okay. text browsing. Okay. So that's why I had no idea to update another feature. So. We'll see you next. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Great. Shanmuga, it was nice talking to you. Thank we got you, to sir. learn a lot more things from your site. Okay. So it was a pleasure to meeting you. Yeah. So okay. I just want to add a few things that this I hope this video will help uh, to students who are watching this video to get yourself motivated to create more such amazing apps. In the future, we are coming up with more coding courses, okay, that include Python, web technologies. AI ML so a lot of different courses so I hope this video is enough to motivate you to learn the coding and to make this kind of apps which Shenmukha made thank you